As mentioned before, most shrimp farms in Ecuador employ the extensive method of farming. From the laboratory, larvae are transported to the shrimp farms where, as a first step, they will be placed in one of two types of pools, nursery pools or grow-out pools. Grow-out pools are larger in size. Shrimp remain there the greater part of their three to six month life cycle, and it is from these pools that they are harvested. Nursery pools, on the other hand, are smaller, usually one hectare or less in size, that some shrimp farmers employ in order to rear shrimp for a period of about 25 days prior to transferring them to the larger grow-out pools. Shrimp that are transferred from nursery pools to grow-out pools are referred to as juveniles. It is debatable whether it is better to transfer larvae directly to grow-out pools or whether they should first be reared in nursery pools. Overall, it will depend on the producer's comfort level since factors in the transfer process may contribute to stressing the juveniles and lead to higher mortality rates. Yet some producers favor this process because it gives them a better harvest. One advantage of using nursery pools is that it allows for the grow-out ponds to undergo maintenance. This includes upkeep of the feeding mechanisms and probiotic treatment. It is important to transfer the juveniles to the grow-out pools at the right time. Doing so too late or too early in the process may increase mortality. Methods of transference vary, with some of them being as rudimentary as having workers gather them in plastic boxes and run from the nursery pool to the grow-out pool as fast as they can. Another system includes the transfer of the shrimp via aqueducts that utilize water pumps and gravity to transport the shrimp between pools. There is no shortage of methods for transferring the shrimp between ponds, some of which can be quite expensive and sophisticated. Once the shrimps are in the grow-out pools, they will be fed regularly for a period of three to six months prior to harvest. Because one of the highest costs in shrimp farming relates to feed, producers will pay special attention on how much of it is used. The conversion rate, which is calculated by dividing the total weight of shrimp harvested by the weight of the feed used throughout their life cycle, is closely monitored. Another important ratio is the total cost of the feed divided by the total weight of the shrimp harvested. Knowledge and experience of personnel managing the shrimp farm will factor in highly when it comes to improving these metrics. Farms that really know how to manage their feed can achieve a strong competitive advantage. Harvest takes place during low tide. Shrimp are attracted to light, thus reflectors are used to attract shrimp in a magnet-like fashion to nets installed next to the pool, drain pipes, or gates. The collected shrimp will then be transferred to basins for inspection and quality control until they can be transferred to plastic ice-filled containers for the transport to the packing facility.